I started my drumming journey about three years ago in 2017. My drum teacher at the time was a local here in Saratoga Springs, and he's actually been awarded two Grammys in music education. He himself was also mentored by the legendary Hal Blaine, a prolific studio drummer who's recorded about 35,000 times and appeared on over 100 top 10 U.S. hits. Today I'm just going to share my love for the instrument, a little bit of what they taught me, and I hope you learn something new from it. Starting off with an introduction to the drum kit, first we have the bass drum. You lift your leg up and come down the pedal with the ball of your foot. Next, this is the snare drum. These two are called toms. This is a rack tom. And this is a floor tom. Here's the hi-hat. There's a pedal down here to control the distance between the two cymbals. If I'm completely off the pedal, you get that open washi sort of sound. Well, if I'm firmly placed on it, it's got that chick-chick close sort of sound. When you play the hi-hat as a right-handed drummer, you may want to cross your right arm over your left. It's just tradition. You don't have to do it. If you do it like this, it's called open-handed drumming, but I'm not really an expert in that. Moving on to the ride cymbal. This dome-shaped part is called the bell. You typically hit it with the fat part or the shaft of your drumstick. Speaking of the drumstick, the way you should hold it should basically look like this. Your fingers are lightly wrapped around it while your thumb sits on the side here. And when you're hitting drums with your stick, the movement should look something like this. It's a very natural movement, just a flick of the wrist and some arm movement. It's very loose. Certainly don't do this. That's silly. Basically, you're just like throwing the stick at the drum and letting the rebound from the hit bring it back up. Alright. I'm going to introduce you to a very basic groove because you're probably wondering what you'd actually play on this thing to make it sound good. So, I'm just going to demonstrate it here. I'm going to play it even slower and start counting aloud. And the way I'm about to count is how I want you to always count whatever you're playing on the drums. It basically makes it so your timing isn't all over and you don't lose your place in the groove. So here it goes. I'm going to break it down part by part. Starting with the bass drum, it's on beats one and three. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. The snare drum is on beats two and four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. If I mix the two together, it sounds like one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Lastly, the hi hat is on beats one and two and three and four and. One e and a two e and a three.
Something important that I want to point out, it's a bit of a beginner's trap. When you're starting out, you don't need to go lightning fast. Anything new you learn on the drums, please play it very slowly and make sure that all the hits sound clean and uniform. If you start off way too fast for your own comfort, it's just going to sound really bad and you're never going to get good. So by playing things slowly, you gradually can get speed just by being more comfortable at the slower speeds. I hope you can see this instrument from another perspective now. I hope I inspire you to pick up the drumsticks, maybe if you were like a little bit intimidated by them. So I'm Michael Coburn, and I'm signing off.